Welcome, my name is Julia and this is the Art of Yoga. We have a short and sweet sequence for us to dive into. And just a beautiful way to awaken the body and get the juices flowing. It's like taking an espresso in the morning. If you use a block in your practice, have a block next to the top of your mat. Put your favorite music on and set an intention to fully enjoy your breath, your sensations and your experience. And when you're ready, we'll begin. And begin in a comfortable seated shape. We'll take the next few breaths to arrive and to center. Allow your gaze to be soft, your eyes closed. Let's take three deep inhales. And easy exhales. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. One more. That's it. Gently open your eyes and keep your attention deep inside. Hands might rest on your knees and let's roll our shoulders. Maybe back, up and forward. And then you reverse, go the other way. Lubricating your shoulder joints. And inhale, shrug your shoulders. Exhale, slide your shoulders down. Inhale. And exhale. That's it. And let's come to our hands and knees. Tabletop. And in tabletop position, if you're getting cows, inhale, arch. Exhale around your spine and this shape might be familiar to you so just follow your breath for a few rounds to awaken your spine and see your spine as a string of pearls and slide and glide your attention along each vertebrae Coming back to neutral, draw a smile with your chin, sliding your chin to the sides to stretch through the sides of your neck. When you're ready, coming back to neutral and stretch your left leg behind you, coming to your tippy toes, press through your heel and reach through the crown of your head. You can stay here or stretch your right arm forward. Maybe you begin to balance and you lift your left leg behind you. Inhale, lift higher. Exhale, knee to your elbow. Squeeze and hug into yourself. Inhale, lift and reach. Exhale. Now if you feel wobbly in this shape, Tuck your back toes under in your right foot and move from your core. Become very, very aware of your core. Inhale, reach. Exhale, soften. Shift your hips side to side. Now let's change sides. Stretch your right leg behind you. Come to your tippy toes. Press through your heel. Find this length in your spine, in your leg, and maybe left arm reaches forward. 
Choose to stay here or lift your right leg high. Inhale. Exhale, knee to elbow. And a few more rounds. Moving from your core. Inhale, reach up, exhale, soften, shift your hips side to side. And when you're ready, again, stretch your left leg behind you and then side kick your right foot out and come into a gate shape. Opening to your left side. Your top hand might reach forward over your head. And let your top hand draw a big circle to open through your chest a little more. And continue to press through your left foot to find this beautiful stretch and extension. Inhale, and exhale, coming back to your tabletop. Let's change sides. Side kick your left foot out, stretch your right leg back and open to your right side. Top hand might reach over your ear, and maybe you draw a big circle. Continue to stay with your breath and your sensations. And do what feels good. Follow sensations to a place where it's delicious, fascinating. Inhale. Exhale, coming back to your tabletop position. And coming to a child pose, shift your hips back, fold into yourself. Option is to walk your hands to your left side. And find a stretch through the right side of your body. Right hand might even cross over your left. And take a deep inhale through your right armpit. And an easy exhale. Inhale, coming back to center. Let's change sides. Left. Hands walk into your right side. Left hand over your right. Deep inhale through your left armpit. Easy exhale. Inhale back to center. Coming back to your tabletop, down facing dog when you're ready, tucking your toes under, lifting your hips up. Taking the next few breaths to arrive into your shape in a way that feels good that's nourishing to your body. Maybe you begin by bending both knees or pedal your legs. Any movement that creates sensation, invites sensation. Giving yourself permission to move inside your shape. You might even do a few cat and cows riding you down facing dog. When you're ready, inhale, shift forward to your plank. Squeeze your inner thighs, press through your heels. Nice and easy. Option is to come to a side plank on your right side. And you might need to soften your right knee down just like we did before and open into a gate shape. That's one expression. Or you can stack your feet. And I like to put my hand, my right hand, a little forward. So you have a nice traction 
through the hand and it's not it's easier on the wrist inhale exhale back to your plank and let's change sides you might simply roll to your left side or soften your knee down do what's nourishing for you no judgment no comparison just pure awareness of your breath of your sensations of your body in space inhale exhale back to your plank lift your hips for down facing dog take a deep inhale easy exhale inhale bend your knees look forward step or jump to the top of your mat find your halfway up exhale fold inhale press to stand and exhale hands to your heart space find your breath deepen your breath inhale reach up exhale forward fold inhale halfway up exhale step back to your plank in your plank lower all the way down you might need to soften your knees first and just lower all the way down untuck your toes and for cobra hands by your chest lift your chest and pause in cobra just to feel this beautiful engagement through your back shoulders are sliding down move your chin to your right and to your left shoulder that's it inhale exhale release inhale hands and knees and exhale sweet down facing dog lifting your hips inhale easy exhale inhale lift your left leg high maybe you circle your foot and as you exhale tuck it under step it forward kneeling crescent right knee down inhale lifting your chest and your arms circle your hands to lubricate your wrists the wrists are working hard in down facing dog inhale as you exhale easy twist to your left side right fingertips down rolling your chest open to your left option is to come to a dragonfly twist lifting your right knee up and you might open your chest a little more inhale easy exhale option is to play with another side plank variation pivot your left toes away from you let your foot walk towards the middle of the mat you come to the outer edge of your right foot and press through your right hand that's it let your top hand do something move in any way inhale exhale back to down facing dog right side when you're ready inhale lift your right leg high and circle your foot inhale lift exhale kneeling crescent left knee down let your hips get heavy circle your hands and draw big circles with your hands to really feel your joints inhale exhale easy twist to your right side option is to stay here or lift your left knee maybe go a little deeper into your twist
and that washes thus on the expression. Pivot your right toes away from you, come to the outer edge of your left foot, press in through your left hand, coming into your side plank. And let your top hand move. Always inviting enough sensation to keep you in the present moment. Coming back to down facing dog in your own time. And from down facing dog, bend your knees, look forward, and travel to the top of your mat. Find your halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press the stand. Exhale, hands to your heart. And a sweet forward fold. Feet hip distance apart. Maybe bring your hands behind, interlace, inhale. Exhale, fold. Move your chin side to side. To release your neck. Hands might move away from your lower back to create a little more sensation up to you. Everything, everything I say is just a suggestion, an invitation. Just continue to create your experience breath by breath, movement by movement. When you're ready, release your arms. Inhale, press to stand. Exhale, hands to your chest. Inhale, stretching up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, stepping back to your plank. And then soften your knees down and come to your forearms. In a forearm plank, you might interlace your hands. Elbows are right under your shoulders. And then begin to stretch your legs behind you. Adjust your legs, your feet, your elbows. And begin to hug into yourself. Hugging into your midline. And when you feel that beautiful hugging sensation, you're hugging into your center. Draw a smile with your chin, move your chin to your right and to your left. Coming back to center, option is to pulse inside your plank, your inhale. And as you exhale, slightly lift your hips just a little bit. Exhale. Inhale back to your forearm plank. Exhale. Lift. Inhale. Back. Exhale. Inhale. Let your body shake a little. One more. Soften your knees down. Come into child pose. Take a deep inhale into your back. Exhale, big sigh out. One more. Inhale, hands and knees. Exhale, down facing dog. From down facing dog, shift your hips to your left side, shifting forward to your plank, and then take your hips across to your right side, coming back into down facing dog through the right side. Let's do it twice more, hips to your left, coming forward, hips across, coming back one more.
and the other way, hips to your right. Forward, back to down facing dog, and twice more. Invitation is to close your eyes and tune in, feeling every sensation. Massaging yourself inside. From down facing dog, inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Step or jump to the top of your mat, find your halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press the stand. Exhale, hands to your heart. Find your breath. Deepen your breath. And we'll play with a few more shapes. Trikonasana on the left side is next. Right foot will step back. Both legs are straight. Chest is facing the long side of your mat. Hands to a T. Inhale. Exhale, slide to your left side. Maybe left fingertips down to your block, to your ankle or your mat. And reach through your right fingertips. Maybe you circle your top hand somehow. And reverse warrior is next. Inhale, gently come out, bend your left knee and sweep your left arm up and over. Open through your left rib cage. Let your left knee reach forward as you reach through your left fingertips back. Inhale, gently come out. And revolved tr trikonasana is next. You might need to shorten your stance. Let your chest face the top of your mat. You might even reach for your block, inhale. As you exhale, lean forward, right hand to your mat or to your block. Left hand to your left hip, inhale. As you exhale, twist and open to your left side, keeping your left hand on your hip or even reach through your left fingertips. And use your exhale to go a little deeper into your twist, into your expression. Again, if it feels enjoyable. Inhale. Exhale, soften. And the dragonfly twist once again. You've been here before, coming to runner's lunge. Right hand down. You might need to widen your stance and open into your twist once again. This is beautiful for the spine. And continue to move inside your shape or find stillness up to you. And again, that Vashastasana expression, pivot your left toes away from you, let your foot walk towards the middle of the mat. Continue to ground through your right hand. You are on the other edge of your right foot. And press. Option is to stack your feet on top of each other, keeping your balance. You might even find a tree, top, top leg, placing your left foot inside your right inner thigh. Inhale, exhale, back, and lift your, down, your hips for down facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, travel to the top of your mat, and rise all the way up. Taking your time, exhale, hands to your heart. Deepen your breath. 
and we'll take this flow on the right side. We'll begin with Trikonasana, left foot makes a big step back, hands to a T, inhale, exhale, slide to your right side, continue to press through your left foot a little more, left, right fingertips down, left, might be reaching up. Any movement inside your shape. Inhale, into reversed warrior, bend your right knee, sweep your right hand up and over. Let your right knee reach forward while you're reaching back through your fingertips. And open through the right rib cage. Inhale. Easy exhale. Inhale, gently come out. You might need to shorten your stance for evolved trikonasana. Chest is facing the top of your mat. Inhale. Exhale, lean forward. Left fingertips down to your block. Right hand to your hip. Twist to your right side. Inhale, exhale, soften your right knee, widen your stance for dragonfly twist, left hand down, roll your chest open to your right side. And that Vashastasana expression, right foot, pivot away, walk towards the middle of the mat and reach through your right fingertips. Option is to stack your feet. You can always come back to your gait shape where you soften your left knee down. Or tree expression. Inhale, exhale, soften out of your shape, coming back to down facing dog, lift your hips. And take a deep inhale, easy exhale, inhale, exhale, soften your knees down and we'll come into a sweet heart melting shape. So let your hips hover over your knees and walk your hands forward. Begin to melt your chest and your forearms down. What we're looking for is this beautiful sensation in our armpits and shoulders and chest. If you need more, you can always bend your elbows and bring your hands into a prayer. Or even bring your block, foot in your block, placing your block under your elbows will give you a little more sensation. Again, just get a sense and a feel for what is the most nourishing today you. You might even sway your rib cage to the sides a few times. Inhale. Gently begin to come out. And then rest all the way down on your belly. Bring your hands to a T and place your right palm down 
and come to your fingertips on your left hand. So your right shoulder is down. And then begin to roll on top of your right shoulder. Bend your left knee and your foot, your left foot might land somewhere behind you. Or you simply let it hang. What we're looking for is this opening in our right shoulder. Inhale, rolling back mindfully. We'll change sides, left palm down, right hand on your fingers. You bend your right elbow, begin to roll on top of your left shoulder. Bending your right knee, placing your right foot somewhere behind you, or simply let it hang and open, find that sensation in your left shoulder. Inhale, gently come out. An option is to come to a seated shape. And we'll finish our practice in a quiet meditation. Coming back to that quiet place inside. So fold your legs in any way, rest your hands on your knees. Allow your gaze to be soft or your eyes closed and check in. Getting a sense of the difference you created in your body with your practice. Maybe you feel a sense of spaciousness. inside. Maybe you have more space between your thoughts. Ready, bring your hands to your heart space. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. And I hope to see you soon on your mat. Have a lovely day. Namaste.